So I'm bringing you today's video with a very, very heavy heart. And this is not a video that I thought I would be doing for, well, a little bit longer than we are right now. So this is breaking news that has just dropped in the last 12 hours. Tiger Woods' caddy is leaving him. Now, at first glance, this might not seem like massive news. But one thing I'm going to say right now, is this the start of the end? Is this the start of the end of Tiger Woods' career? And I'm going to go through why I think that in this video. But as always, guys, I want to know your opinion. So please do get down in the comments. Let me know what you think on this story because I want to know what you think. I want to know your opinion on this. Please do get down in the comments. And guys, if you are brand new to this channel, a warm welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell to never, ever miss a breaking news story. This is some hot gossip right here. So let me put my first point across to you. First things first, right? If you think in the past, when Tiger Woods has not played for a while, he's taken a rest away from the game, he's either been going through rehab, he's had the car crash, he's been injured, whatever it has been, Joe LaCarver, Tiger Woods' caddy, has stayed honest to him. And what I mean by that is he hasn't tended to go away from Tiger and get other jobs. I think he might have had ad hoc jobs here and there, but overall, he has stayed just working for Tiger Woods. Now, the thing that screams out to me here, if Tiger Woods had any, how can I say this, any inkling or any way of playing this year or any way of playing next year, surely Joe LaCarva would follow the same premise, right? I'm sure he's been paid handsomely. I don't think money is an object here. He would stay, wouldn't he? But if there's no signs or no inkling that Tiger's going to play, surely he's just going to go and work somewhere else. I honestly think... This could be the end of Tiger Woods. I don't think he's going to be playing like we've seen him before. I honestly don't think we'll see him playing, I'm not going to say at all, but at a very rare basis. Even rarer than it is right now. What do you think on that? Like, that is the first thing that I thought, can he leave him? This is the start of the end. This is the start of the end. And it makes me upset. Like, he is my golf hero. Like, he's the reason why I'm sat here now. He is the reason why I started playing golf. And for me, he has had the biggest impact on golf in the modern era. Now, I know Jack Nicklaus, Arnold Palmer, um, Gary Player, the likes of all these players had a huge impact on golf. But the modern age of social media, for sure. For me, Tiger Woods is up there. I mean, you just got to mention the Nike advert and that ball going in. Everybody knows that. So... Let's go into exactly what happened here. So this story has come from Dan Rappaport. He is one of the um, PGA Tour journalists. So Joe LaCarva called Tiger right after he got the offer from Patrick Cantley. So Patrick Cantley is the player that Joe LaCarva is going to or reports on. Tiger said to Joey, you'd be crazy not to take the job. Go for it. Go win some tournaments and have a great time. Now, the other people here, like Todd Lewis, um, who spotted this early at the start of the week at the Welsh Fargo, on the bag Patrick for Patrick Cantley this week at the Welsh Fargo, and for the foreseeable future is Joe LaCarver, who has had the blessing from former boss Tiger Woods to make the move to Cantley. This is not a one-off, but a full-time move for LaCarver. Now, there are some very different replies here. Very, very different replies. One thing, I think, the whole thing I want to think about here is, is this the end of Tiger Woods? The full time, again, really starts to confirm this for me in my mind of what I think. But the sort of reaction on Twitter is very, very mixed. So Ryan Hatton said, should Patrick Cantley have asked Tiger's permission before taking the offer or before making the offer? Now, one thing right now is Daniel Papport has said that reportedly he did ask Tiger's permission, which he probably did. I'm not saying he didn't. But from my experience of when I carried on the DP World Tour or European Tour before it changed the DP World Tour, that doesn't go on. Players go behind players' back and ask caddies if they want to work for them. Caddies go behind caddies' back to ask players if they want them to work for them. It's almost like a black market behind the tour that not very often do players go and ask other players if they can ask their caddy to go and caddy for them. It just happens. They offer them improved offer, better terms, and it just happens. Interesting, right? Other reactions here are that Joey just added some overtime, so essentially just looking for um, another job. Another one here from Ian McNally. He said, lol, not sure Steve Williams would have got the same initial response, 100%. He would have told Steve Williams, ah, 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 you ain't going anywhere. Again, this is backing up my point, the fact that Tiger Woods is in a different point of his career.
Tagore's is coming to the end of this career, and I don't think he's... Well, I do believe him when he says he's there to win a tournament, but realistically, is he anymore? I'd rather him just... I don't want to say go, but... I want to see Tiger being Tiger, and I don't feel we're getting that right now, personally. So, other ones here coming in from uh, Lindsay. OMG, my heart. I think, like, this is the reason. This is the reason why I got thinking about this. People are putting crying faces. Like, we're seeing this as the end of Tiger Woods. I mean, there are some jokey ones here saying, hopefully he'll speed up Patrick Cantley. I don't think anybody can do that, but you know what? Maybe Joe McCarver can. Maybe he can. So come on, guys. So far through this story, what do you think on this? I want to read you this. So this is from, according to ESPN, Woods' agent Mark Steinberg revealed more about the split. He said, Joey called Tiger to ask him to get his approval. Of course, Tiger gave it. Tiger and Joe are like brothers. Tremendous friends. You shouldn't read anything more into that other than Joey wants to caddy. He loves it. He is his passion. He's great, and I did it for one of the best. Tiger said repeatedly he's going to play very limited schedule around the majors, his events. The father son assuming the father son assuming that everything goes well will be in rehab and recovery. Joey wants to work, so I'll go with that. We're just moving on. So the question is Obviously Joey LaCarva is going to be caddying for Patrick Cantley. I can't see Patrick Cantley going, yeah, Tiger's back, go and work for him. It's a full-time basis, that is it, it's a split, boom, gone. But who is going to caddy for Tiger Woods? If he plays, obviously I think this is the end of his career, but I actually think if we do see him, we're going to see his son caddy for him. I think it's a great learning curve, I think it's a great way for his son to experience what it happens. We've seen Lee Westwood's kid caddy for him. We've seen Ian Poulter's kids caddy for him. I honestly think this is going to be a way of him showing in the ropes, passing on his magic, pass passing on how he plays in tournament conditions. But for sure, I bring you this story with a really, really heavy heart. The reasons why, summary right here, I think this is the end of Tiger Woods. L playing a very limited schedule outside the majors. If there was more to this, as in more events, or even inklings of playing exactly all the majors, Joey LaCarva would have stayed, in my opinion. This is a doubt, which is why he's left. It's a doubt whether Tiger Woods will play competitively and perform competitively again. It's got to be. I know the rumours aren't that he is and he's going to play again, but I just don't see how he is. He's not going to want to be there and not be there and just make up the numbers, right? Uh, let me know what you think on this. It's a heavy story, I know, but one that I think we need to all talk about. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's breaking news story here on Back Nine Films. Don't forget, as always, please do subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss any breaking news stories here on Back Nine Films.